anyways, anything for you, Glen Coco. Um, good morning. And welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, I'm Mary. Click the subscribe button down below and we can hang out all the time. Um, also follow me on Insta and we can hang out even more. Uh, it's linked down below. But it is the next morning from Vlogmas Day 7, so I guess that means it's Vlogmas Day 8. Am I right? You can go. I don't know where to go. Oh. <laughs> I think I know. Do you want me to put it in my mask? Yeah, my phone's dead. dead. That's okay. That's fine. Like, Blake's the type of person who doesn't charge his phone overnight because No, he's I didn't not. bring my charger. I always <laughs> charge my phone. No, you don't. You'll always be like, oh, my phone's going to die. I'm like, what? Yeah, but like, who cares? Blake and I wanted to go see this guy in concert. I'm just saying this because it was just up on my maps. And I was like, oh my God, like how far is it of a drive to Park City, Utah? We could drive there on Saturday. <laughs> it was like 17 hours, so that's why it was on my maps. And it was like- We would have had to leave. We like would have left night. like, yeah. Um, but so we just left Blake's work event. So it was like an overnight deal. Um, and it was pretty fun. Yeah. I'm Would you say so? Time. Yeah, I wish. Yeah. So, like, yeah. it was a lot of people just talking and not, like, a lot of conversing. networking yeah. and conversing, if you do say. So, it was a lot of, like, listening to people speak. Um, so, I wish it would have been more, like, interactive, I guess. Yeah. I guess they had the cocktail hour. We kind of missed it. Yeah, we didn't go to that. But. but Still, it. I wish they had like an intermission or something where people would have another cocktail, yeah. another cocktail hour. I, um. Quarter mile at the traffic circle. Yeah. The first exit on I got to meet some of Blake's um, work friends. And yeah. Do you need me to help you navigate or do you got it? I feel like every time I help Blake navigate, I always tell him to go the wrong direction because I think I might be directionally challenged. Like literally every time it's right, I say left. <laughs> And he's like, are you sure? I'm like, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, but anyways, I got to meet some of his work friends, which was really fun. Um, I got this question on a few videos back. Someone was like, what does Blake do? And I don't know if we, did we ever address that in the video? Uh, I don't know. Blake's an electrical engineer. Yeah. So I got to meet all of these people. A bunch and of engineers. A bunch of engineers. Yeah. I thought they were going to be awkward as fuck. No, they're actually really fun people. Like, yeah. especially I, the guy am, that we were sitting next to, like, he was fun. I am in, like, an industry that it's like, we're not just on our computers all day. Seems like, why, do, why am I getting a phone call from Des Moines? That's, oh, I thought your phone was dead. Answer it. See, this could be, like, your big break. Hello? Hey, who is this? I'm so interested. Seems like Blake has a new friend. Friend, I guess. Wait, so what did he say? One of his friends. Oh, I don't know if he was just like bored and like. Just wanted to talk to someone. Was he the one? Actually, yeah, hold on. So, Blake, his friend just called him and he was like, Are you still here or whatever? And Blake, his friend, hooked up with some girl last night. And so when Blake answered the phone, he goes, Hey man, hope you had a fun night. But the guy like didn't catch his reference. But, anyways. I thought it was kind of funny, Blake. I thought it was funny. Anyways, so Blake, are you relatively hungover or are you fine? I'm really not that bad right now. I'm tired. I get that. But not hungover. I honestly, I did not drink like after 12 o'clock. Yeah. You you drank a lot though at the beginning. I had a all night I had a half a drink. I had like probably four or five drinks the first two hours. Yeah. You were, you were, but no, but not four or five drinks. Like, it was kind of absurd. I came down and you were like, oh, I, like, anyways, we don't need to go into the details, but it was fun. Glad we did it. Glad we're leaving moderately early. It's, it's 8.47, so we're still gonna have Saturday ahead of us. I have a lot to do for school and stuff. So, yeah. Show you a move like I'm the new James Brown. Me and you should get a room right now. 
Okay, I need to give you guys a little update on that song because it's We don't own that song, by the way. Oh my god, he's so copyright. paranoid about fucking copyright issues. Like, they're serious. We issues. have like 50 viewers. I think it's fine. Um, I don't know. One day. You're right, I know. But we're fine right now. Anyways, but that song um, reminds me of when Blake and I first started dating because. I used to listen to that song all the time, 2018 summer, and just because it's such a fun song, like I literally, it's on my 2019 recap, it's so good, it pumps me up, but like I just remember Blake, so like one of our first-ish dates, okay not our first dates, but like a few dates in you invited me to the Maroon 5 concert. Oh yeah. So he oh, like, yeah. there was a Maroon 5 concert in Cedar Rapids and he was like, we should go. And I was like, I mean, okay. <laughs> no, I was like, you know what, whatever, like that's fine. So I remember like driving up to Cedar Rapids and I was just like listening to that song on repeat because it was just like pumping me up because I was kind of nervous because I was like, I'm spending the night in Cedar Rapids with this guy that I kind of just met yeah. And I'm hanging out with all of his work friends who he had a different job at this point and these people were like 30. Like we were literally hanging out with like they I remember like one time at the pregame like no but at the pregame I was I, this man came up to me and he started talking to me and he was like so how old are you like what do you do? I was like I'm 19. I'm still in school. He was like oh my kid is 18. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> horrendous but anyways that song reminds me of that and so it makes me so happy because that was such a sweet time in my life and I just love it also I wanted to update you guys on the red nail situation so I did I went for more nice, nice try I went for more of a candy apple red but like a little darker than that I'm obsessed with it it makes me feel so productive and on fire I definitely am gonna get this it, nail color next time because I really love it and I love it paired with my like dark gray toes like I just think it's a really cute pairing so especially for the holiday season you should try it out because it's a great pairing We just went to Dodge Street Coffee House because it was like right off the highway and we hadn't been yet. And my friend Taylor always goes there. And so I was like, okay, well, I literally trust Taylor so much with like food and coffee wrecks. Um, and so I was like, we have to go. It's so cute in there. If you've never been to Dodge Street Coffee, you should totally go. And if like if you live in Iowa City, um, you should totally go because it's so cute. And can I try your latte? I didn't it get a coffee really since I made though. one this morning, but I don't think it'll be too bad. Um, but they have so many non-dairy milks. They, I was like, do you guys have non-dairy milk? They were like, we have oat, soy, it's hot. Um, almond, like a bunch. And so Blake got an oat milk latte and I'm trying it. It's pretty good. Oh, it is really hot, but it's good. Yeah. And it's so cute in there. There are so many plants. There's like, just, they have like, they source from all around town so they have stuff from trumpet blossom oasis like dandelion they have litter like molly's cupcakes they just like <laughs> they do such a great job and um yeah you guys should really go sorry i'm just like rambling about this but i thought it was so cute in there and i can't wait to go there and study it's just like a nice change of pace like you guys know i love dash but like this place is cute too So it's a little bit later. I like after we went to Dodge Street, we got back to my apartment and quickly I just like unpacked and then I actually went right to Sculpt. So I just got back from Sculpt. I quickly showered, unpacked my stuff, 
and now i'm like ready for the day i'm just wearing this black t-shirt from aritzia some black lulu leggings keeping it simple and i might put on like a white little like um zip up hoodie i want to make dinner tonight i'm really in the mood to cook so i think we're gonna cook um and yeah it's a beautiful day so i honestly like want to be outside so maybe i'll walk to a coffee shop or something we will see I want to try this new peanut butter that I got from Trader Joe's yesterday. So I got this one, crunchy salted peanut butter with flax and chia seeds. So I'm gonna open it and try it. I added in a little bit of the Date Lady date paste. This stuff. To make it a little sweet, I actually really like it. Studied at Dash with some friends, did some damage at Revival, not too much. They were having like a 20% off sale, so I'll show you guys what I got. I got a gift for Jess that I'd been like waiting to get for her. I've had it in mind for a while, so I hope she likes it. And then, okay, this is something I never thought I would need, but I've been burning candles a lot recently and I actually feel like I need the wax clipper because the wax gets like so, or not the wax clipper, like the, it's so hard to clip and like, it's so weird because like you just need a good wick. You know what I mean? So a wick trimmer was necessary and it was $8 and that's why I was like, I'll just get it. So I got that. And then I got, and this I'm not sure if I like yet. I might take it back. I'm just really unsure, but it's so comfy. So I got it to just like try on with some stuff. And then if I don't like it, I'll take it back. But it's just this sweater. And you can't really see the coloring there, but it's like green. And then it has like, kind of like a lower in the back, higher in the front. And yeah, I just really don't know. So I'm gonna try it on with some stuff and see what I think. And yeah, but I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna make like a bunch of dinner. Um, and Blake's gonna come over. So I'm gonna preheat the oven to, not broil. I'm gonna preheat it to 375. And then I'm just gonna cut up the broccoli. The cauliflower is actually already cut. But I'm gonna cut up the broccoli. We have Brussels sprouts. And then we're also gonna roast mushrooms. So what I'm probably gonna do is put the cauliflower and the Brussels sprouts in to roast. And then Blake's bringing other stuff that we're gonna roast too. I'll show you guys. I just put some oil, avocado oil, salt and pepper on some carrots, and I'm gonna put them in the air fryer at, like, I think I'll do 380 for 20 minutes-ish. We just finished dinner, and I was shitty and didn't film it, but it was really good, right Blake? Yeah, it was really good. The Brussels sprouts turned out amazing. I guess I have like the, I have a bunch of leftovers, which will be nice for the next few days. 
Sorry, that fridge light is kind of insane. But I just ended up air frying sweet potatoes. And this is them. But they were really good. And then the cauliflower also turned out amazing. I'm just like showing you guys the leftovers, but super good. And then we made mushrooms and um, sauteed broccoli that was pretty really good. And then the Brussels sprouts were so, so good. Oh my God, they smell amazing. So it's gonna be nice to have food for like the next few days and not have to like deal with that, you know? So yeah, dinner was good. Now, I think I'm hanging with Iris. So yeah, that's the plan. Battery 100%. Hi guys, so Iris just left and I just got out of the shower and I'm honestly just gonna wind down and get in bed. I think I'm just gonna light a candle in my room and the one that I had in my bathroom like went out, I don't know why, but I'm just gonna light my fave Suntall smell-alike candle and go to bed or and get in bed and honestly just like read relax and get an early night it's like 9 15 right now I feel like a loser but we had a later night last night so I just kind of want to go to bed and yeah be able to have a productive day in the morning um so I think I'm gonna end this vlog here but thank you so much for tuning in um, again, please hit the subscribe button below, uh, follow me on Insta, it's also linked down below, and yeah, thanks so much for watching, I will see you guys next time for my next bit.